how do you pick a flight rising flight? This is a question I get all the time from new registered users. A flight is your nation on flight rising. Each flight has a different color associated with it, a different deity, a different region of the map geographically, their own forums, their own holiday, and their own lore. The lore is kind of like the little storyline. There are 11 flights to choose from and they're all pretty much elementally geared. We've got like earth, full of dirt, nature, full of trees, light, also has some trees, shadow, and a surprising amount of trees, arcane, which is an observatory. I don't really get that one, but we're gonna let it slide. Plague, which is like a rotting mouth, not sure. Water, lightning, fire, wind, and ice. Each of these nations is totally fine to choose from. Honestly, I think you should pick whatever one is your favorite color because you're going to be seeing a lot of it. I was in lightning flight for two years, uh, which is like a bright aquamarine color. I'm currently in ice and the way you're going to see this is on your banner next to your dragon icon on your user page on the top of the screen in your den your dragon lair page you're gonna see it there and also your dragon's eye color all of the dragons that you hatch will have the eye color of your flight for instance plague is bright red light is yellow uh the tree flight which is nature is bright green while wind is light green so these are like basically you know cliff notes to consider if that's really important to you and it was really important to me like the aesthetic of my lair like i think of my dragon lair is like a bonsai tree and i want it to be just right but it has to be trained in order to be right so the way that i can train it is by like getting rid of dragons bringing in other dragons and i decided that the light white color of the ice flight eyes really meshes with how I want my lair to look. That's what I want for my dragons. So I'm now in the ice flight. Some people take into consideration how cool the deity looks and like I get that's totally a thing. Like the storm catcher from lightning flight is super cool looking and so is the arcanist and the tide lord and the wind singer like they're all like pretty cool and they've got stuff going on for them and if you want to like remember the lore of the different flights you could just recall what the dragons from that flight are like for instance um the ice flight has the tundra which is a really bad example um the earth flight has the snapper and that totally works uh, wind flight has spirals, which are like these, like kind of like ADHD, like very energetic critters that are like flying all over the place and they're super loopy. So like, that's what wind flight is like. The storm catcher is like a giant ridgeback dragon and they're super angular and they're edgy, um, which totally aligns with what the lightning flight is like. When you're choosing which flight you want to join, you might want to take into consideration when the flight's holiday is. Each month has a holiday. December has one a holiday that's not supposed to be specific to any flight. It's supposed to be just kind of like a big free-for-all type of event. The flight that you choose is going to have a holiday. For instance, Lightning's holiday is in July. So if I knew that I would always be traveling in July, like every year, then I might not want to pick lightning flight for that reason. For each flight's holiday, usually they win the dominance battle for that week. Dominance is an inter-site competition between all of the flights every week to see who can exalt the most dragons. 
Now, if you really care about dominance, because it has some pretty amazing perks, like you get all these like discounts on stuff, and like you get plus 1500 treasure a day, plus three gathering turns a day, 5% off lair expansions, which is like what a huge, huge win right there. 15% off marketplace treasure items, also quite large. Uh, then you're going to want to keep in mind that some flights are more likely to win. And those flights are the top three, Plague, Light, and Ice. I did not know that when I picked Ice. I was just like, hey there, Wide Eyes, we're doing this. So that might be something that you consider. I know a lot of people really care about lore. And if that's a thing that you care about, then go for it. Some people say that the eyes will grow to you over time. Eh. I mean, it really depends on what you prioritize. If the lore is important, like if story building is your thing, then read the lore attributed to each flight and pick from there. Like I said, this honestly isn't something that I spend a whole lot of time on Flight Rising thinking about. I think the least winningest flight, which is what? Wind? Wind still has like 30,000 users in it. That's a lot of users. If you're afraid that the community is going to be all one way, then I, I really I really don't think that's so. Like, if you don't want to join Plague because you think everyone's going to be, like, a gory freak who loves talking about blood, um, I promise you, like, that's not the case. You really can't judge the entire group from that kind of stereotype. Uh, that's a lot of people. You're going to find basically creatives in every group you're gonna find people with your interests in any of these populations just because they're so large that being said if you really don't like blood and stuff like that you should probably not join plague because that's so intrinsic to the lore of plague uh, you might want to consider something more like nature or ice because those lore have nothing to do with biological degeneration if you don't like the flight that you get assigned to, that you pick, you can change every six months. It does cost money, but you have the ability to change your flight. The first flight change is free, so I switched to ice flight and I love it, but if I wanted to change again, it would cost me some money. This was a requested video, and I get this kind of question basically every time flight registration is open. So flight rising registration is open nowadays starting the second Sunday of each month. So yeah, uh, leave your comments below about your flight, how you chose, how you think other people should choose, and cool. Peace.